guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a empties video, but first I wanted to do a quick Sephora haul. I just went there and picked up two things that I want to share with you guys. One of them being something that I've like showed us in an empties video before, so I thought, yes, I repurchased it, I should show you guys. And that is something like I literally swear by this product, and it's the uh, repair. Whoa, 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 whoa. First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. This is one of my favorite masks. It is super gentle on the skin, but it helps with like acne or any just dryness on your skin. And I haven't really found anything quite like this yet. I've tried a few different masks, but I haven't found anything that's like this. And I love this. So definitely give this a try. I'm in love with this. The other thing that I decided to try because I have been breaking out really bad lately and it is partially because of my period and I feel like all women they know there are these periods that you have that are monsters like sometimes it's just like having a period and yeah no period is pleasant this period is literally a monster like I've broken out so badly I've cramps like no other I feel like I'm dying so I read online that it's really important to keep your skin hydrated and I have a really hard time keeping my skin hydrated for whatever reason. So I ended up picking up this little sample of the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. And I'm going to use this at night as like a treatment on my skin. And it comes in a little bottle like this. And I've heard a lot of people say like, this size will last you a year kind of thing. I like the stopper, how it works. I think it seems very sanitary. I don't know, kind of feel like I'm in the lab once more. I'm excited to try it, hope it'll help my crazy, crazy skin, because we all know Emily's skin is crazy. And then she gave me a sample of something. I will probably not try that, because just, how did they get it in the container? That's my question. Okay, so moving on to my empties. I've got a ton of stuff to show you guys, and none of it is makeup. Surprising? Not really. I have a bag that I've been collecting. I don't know if I've shown a lot of this stuff before. My products are pretty, like, routine, like the same thing. Oh, Emily's got more of that, so. We're going to do this and you're going to enjoy it. Fasten your seatbelts. I kind of cleaned out my bathroom a little bit. So I have a few things that are just like been sitting there and collecting dust and that are, have been empty. But for some reason I have them in there. Maybe because I was saving them for an empties video. I don't really know. But uh, the first one I had was the Herbal Essences Naked Dry Shampoo. I'm not sure how I felt about this. I feel like it was one of those products that it was okay but I didn't really like love it. Um, my favorite one is the Dove one. I do like the smell of this. I remember at the end it was just like all, like you can hear there's still stuff in it, but it's all water, like there's no powder in it at all. So it's basically just like spraying liquid into your hair. Um, it was okay. Not, I don't like Herbal Essences that much as a brand. Um, mm, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I have two nail polish removers, which speaks volumes of how much I changed my nail polish. Um, this is the Kyo. Kyo, 100% acetone. I know acetone is really hard on your nails and I definitely noticed like my nails were peeling and stuff from using this, but it just removes your nail polish so quickly. It seems much easier to do than using um, a regular nail polish remover. This is just a travel size um, and this is just the Up and Up brand, I believe from Target. And I believe this is from Shoppers Drug Mart. So I like acetone, like I said, because it takes the nail polish off really quickly, but it is damaging, so. But it's good to remove shellac. If you get your nails done, like shellac, you can just take it off really easily with acetone. The next thing is like actually disgusting. Okay, this is something that I've had for a while. It is the Body Shop Unfragranced Body Massage Oil for all skin types. I did not use this for body massage, no siree. I use this as a moisturizer for my legs and it just makes your legs and like your arms or anything in the summer like super shiny and just look like really healthy and glowy. Um, but it's disgusting and leaking and literally the container is like yellow and I'm kind of done with it. So I just was like, goodbye, see you later. The next things I'm about to show you guys are all skincare. I've been kind of trying a crap ton of different skincare because like I said, my skin hasn't been the best. So I've been kind of trying like everything that there is out there and being like, please something help me. Um, and what I've noticed about my skin is that really, there's nothing you can do about it. When it gets bad, it wants to be bad and you let it, you let it go, you let it get crazy, you let it freak out, and then it'll go away by itself. I don't know, my skin is ridiculous. This is uh, just the end part of Fresh Pharmacy. It just doesn't lather anymore and I think 
that's just because it's like kind of old and doesn't really I don't know it's like kind of dusty and kind of nasty so that's good I like that mm, kind of strips your skin a little bit you might not want to use it every day especially if you have dry sensitive skin but I do like it and I did mention this in my lush video that I did recently showing you guys like my favorites my least favorite things from Lush, so that is something I do like, but like I said, if you have dry, sensitive skin, you might want to use that with something else, like in rotation. Next, I have, I feel like I always have one of these in every one of my videos that I do, but it is the uh, Bioderma. There's a blue one, I think there's a green one too, and I use this all the time and I absolutely love it for removing any makeup from your face, and it's just very gentle. And then now I have a bunch of moisturizers. Uh, the first one is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. This is my everyday moisturizer. I use this probably two to three times a day, and I've used this since I was like 14, I swear. It's really awesome, and I'm hesitant to stray from it just because of the fact that I've been using it so long, and it hasn't caused like more problems to my skin. Is there something better out there? Maybe, but I haven't found it, so I love this stuff. And then I have the Lancome. It's a moisturizer with SPF of 30 in it. Um, the issue I find with Lancome is that their products are very heavily scented, especially their, like, their skincare for me. Like, I could, I like the smell of it, but I know my skin is not going to like the perfume. So, I liked it, but it caused a little bit of irritation on my skin. The other one I tried was another little version of the Simple Sensitive Skin Hydrating Light Moisturizer. I like the idea of this brand, but this moisturizer does not work for my skin, just because I do have more dry skin than than like combination I guess I really need like a heavy moisturizer it does sink in really well so it's good base for found, for foundation or whatever you're putting on your skin but I like that thick kind of sticky texture of a thick moisturizer so this wasn't for me but I do like the idea of this brand I'm not 100% sold on this specific product but that brand in itself yeah could be good moving on this is something I recently, well not recently, I guess I hauled this, I did a haul with this in it, I just can't remember. This is the Jack Black Moisture Therapy Lip Balm with Shea Butter and SPF 25. This is by far my all time favorite lip balm. I love this stuff, it is about $15 at Sephora or something like that. It's not ridiculous, like Dior ridiculous, it's like, okay, I get it. But I love this product, I used it so quickly and to me, that's either like, Emily, you must really love it, or they must not have really given me a lot of product. But either, sorry, either way, I love this stuff, and I would totally repurchase, and I actually was at Sephora today, like I just showed you guys that stuff, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was like, hmm, for sure, one of my all-time favorite lip balms, and I feel like everyone needs to try it. It's just so good. Oh, I love you. I'm actually going to cut it open and like continue trying to squeeze product out. That's how much I love it. Hi. Another lip balm. Oh, that's on the ground. The other lip balm I have is a EOS lip balm in Lemon Drop. The reason, I, you know, they're still a little bit on this thing, but my boyfriend actually alerted me to this that it's expired in 2013. Whoopsies. I guess I missed that. Okay, next I have another hair product which is something that I, I've had for so long and I don't usually, I don't routinely use it I would say, like it's not an everyday product for me or something I use every time I shower, but it's the Organics Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil. I actually do really like this stuff. I put it in the ends of my hair after I shower, but I do find if you have wavy or curly hair, for me it weighs down my hair quite a lot so the curl isn't quite as like defined as it normally is. Your hair feels nice and soft and just really voluminous but make sure to keep it away from your roots because you look like Greasy McGreasersons if you do that. Say that 10 times fast. Next I have a kind of a weird thing to talk about. I feel like most people wouldn't mention these sorts of things in their favorite in their empties videos but just being real here. I used up a Cortade uh, Maximum Strength cream which if you're wondering what this is for it is for eczema I don't use this anymore because now I have a prescription but I still really like to use this um, on minor eczema so stuff that's not quite as inflamed and quite as bad as the other stuff on my skin so this is something that's good to have around even if someone just comes over and is like oh my skin's really itchy I'm like hi this is my favorite shampoo and conditioner I only have the shampoo but I get these bottles at Costco they are literally massive let's do a size to head comparison massive. Uh, it's the Dove Damage Therapy 
daily moisture hydration that's the french side sorry but i love this and i love the smell of dove shampoo and conditioner because it smells like laundry and who doesn't want to smell like laundry i don't know last but not least another hair product which randomly is just a conditioner and this is the herbal essences body mv voluminizing that was a mistake volumizing or vol vol voluminizing voluminous what the hell what root is that? Voluminous? 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 I don't know what Emily Stop. Okay, this is the volumizing conditioner with citrus essences. Like I said, I'm not a huge herbal essences fan, um, but I did have this shampoo or conditioner and I did use it. Um, but like I said, not my favorite brand. I wouldn't, I don't know, the heavy, heavy scents kind of freak me out sometimes just because I'm like, that's not natural. Yeah, me, me. It's kind of how I feel about it. Okay, guys, that rounds up my fa uh, favorites. No, actually, that is something I do need to film, though. Let's talk about that. Um, this I haven't filmed in a very long time, and I'm clearly very rusty. That wraps up my empties and review video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below any video requests that you have, and I will see you all very soon. Bye, guys.